545 this morning, neighbors living on Hillcrest Avenue in the Crescent Hill neighborhood are keeping the tradition alive and going all out for Halloween. So this street has become famous for its elaborate Halloween displays and tonight neighbors are also welcoming trick or treaters. Our Sam Carter is live this morning with some of the neighbors showing us how impressive these setups are. Absolutely, and my favorite one we're standing in front of right now, Mike Grice back with us. Now, Mike, Alex was saying, and she's right, that you try to add something, you take some stuff away, you add some stuff. Mm -hmm. You have an awesome joke here that I love. Talk to me about the Kentucky defibrillator. Okay, well, I'm going to be quite honest. This is the only thing in here that was not my idea. A friend of mine, a good friend of mine, uh, Marcia Cecil, lives in Panama City. She sent me this, but then... I said, well, that, I'm going to have to do that one. And so I just adapted it to the Kentucky defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's so much fun. And you have done such amazing work. You said it took you, you know, the better part of three or four weeks because of rain to yeah. set up. Is there a certain amount of joy that you get out of this, just the, the physical work of it and, and just doing it? Oh, uh, not I enjoy doing things. I used to have a dog, and the dog would sit there for hours and watch me. And that they never helped those dogs. No, no, no. And then, uh, but it's the families that come by. Uh, is that what it, keeps? Is that what keeps it going? The tens of thousands. I, I guess as many as seventy thousand yeah. people walk these streets over the course of the month. Right. Is and that it, staggering to know that they're look they're stopping here to look at your stuff? Oh yeah. Well, I mean. I, any of the uh, displays, you know, I'm just glad that people, you know, it's a safe place for people that might not have that in their neighborhood. Sure. You know? That's such an important thing. Let's take a walk down here because I want to I wanna move over to here first. This is the basket we were talking about yes, in the last half an hour. It's where you people who are coming through, the thousands and thousands that will, uh, can make a donation to the United Crescent Hill Ministries. It's such an important thing to help out. Sure. And uh, in the past years, it's been so uh, instrumental in uh, filling their uh, uh, their pantry, their coffers. Pantry, yeah. yeah, okay. And uh, and this year it's been a significant drop off, but I think it's because of the uh, hurricanes and yeah. people maybe uh, designating resources to that. All right, now I want to show people one thing before we get out. This is an awesome thing. Now all over Mike's yard there are signs with puns and things on them, and you may not be able to see it through the fence. So I'm going to read it to you. Doomsday prepper. Bunker McBeans has big has his big mistake. He only stored beans. It's awesome. It's interactive. Guys, this is Hillcrest. It is so much fun. There are going to be thousands of trick-or-treaters tonight in spite of the weather. We're moving on in the next half hour. From one of the originals to one of the newest, we're going to talk to him in just a little bit. I mean, I just want to thank oh everyone who lives on Hillcrest for <laughs> dedicating every this year. season of yeah. their life every Oof. year to Halloween. We appreciate it. This Man. is so cool. They go through a lot, too, just with the amount of traffic on the street yeah. every night for yeah. weeks on end. So, you know, that's difficult. Matt Milosevic, we're going to need the umbrellas tonight, poncho, you know, grab yeah, something. We are, and I think we can get through this.